Hey, it's Ross from BSC, and we're back at the Alamany Farmer Market in San Francisco. So apple season goes from July to about December. When you go to the farmer's market, there's a lot of different varieties of apples, from Rome to Gala to Golden Delicious to Yellow Delicious. It just goes on and on. We're going to talk about how to cook with apples and how to pick them and even how to store them. Let's go. So we're going to look at our apples from Rainbow Orchards, and they are a great California farm growing their apples in Apple Hill. So this particular apple right here that we have today is called a Rome apple. It's a tart apple, a little bit tart, but I think it's great for eating too. The, th the skin is really thin, and that's something we're going to talk about with the rest of the apples, the thickness of the skin, and also the density of the apple, and also the sweetness. Our next apple is the Gala apple. Now you'll see on these apples that you have these lines right here, here, and here. This is what I'm told is from the high heat uh, when they grew. The taste of the apples is delicious, kind of a sweet apple. And it, being that it's a sweet apple, you need to eat it before the sugar turns to starch. So our next apple is the Pippin apple. And uh, these Pippins, um, they're not very pretty. Uh, Nora, uh, is that all right? Yeah, I mean, they don't really have to look pretty to taste good. Personally, I think these taste wonderful. They're sour, yet um, still firm and juicy, and you can use them for cooking, although the Granny Smith are the best for cooking. Um, but I like these a lot, and it doesn't matter what they look like on the outside. It's just the inside that counts. Let's move on to our next apple, a red delicious apple. This apple, depending on the season, can be mealy, or it can be quite firm. These apples this season, Perfect. So in cooking with your apples, uh, there's always a question. Do you leave the skin on? Do you take the skin off? Within the skin? Well, number one, leave the skin on. If the recipe does not specifically say take the skin off, leave it on. There's a lot of fiber and a lot of nutrients in the skin. When we make our apple pear chutney that you can download on our website, we're going to leave the skin on. It's going to impart a great color to the entire chutney. So don't forget, when you buy an apple and it's sweet already, put it in the refrigerator. An apple, a ripe apple will go mealy in about 48 hours, and that's if you do that. So definitely refrigerate your apples. How much are my apples? 8.30. Done. So we're back at BSC, and we're just getting ready to make the pear and apple chutney. Uh, from the Granny Smith apples and from the Roma apples that we bought at the farmer's market. We're going to use this chutney on our crispy potato pancakes. It should be delicious. Feel free to download the recipes. And until then, this is Ross. Make it local. Make it tasty.